My name is Edgar Hernandez. You're out at a anti-Monsanto demonstration. Organics for free is on your t-shirt. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the poster you just handed me that explains how to eat. Well, I live in Oakland, California, and uh, I'm trying to educate people uh, what fruits and vegetables do, uh, what every ingredient does to their body, the functions. Uh, what, what do fruits and vegetables do to our bodies? Well, can I read a couple of the, off sure. the, off sure. the brochure? For example, sure. if somebody wanted to do brain function, they wanted, they're not feeling good and they want to enhance their brain function, if they ate a little bit more blueberries on a daily basis, that's going to enhance their uh, brain function. If they ate cacao beans, all right, dark chocolate, that'll help them. There's hey, I ate a whole brownie yesterday. You did. That work? Uh, not necessarily, because if, if the ingredient has sugar, it offsets. Oh, okay, okay so how do we, uh, I don't go out and buy cacao beans, how, how do I get that well, pure chocolate? If you look at the uh, markets that have anything above 70, I like the 80 and above percentage of, of, of cacao, cocoa beans, that's the best uh, chocolates you can get available to purchase. So does it come in, in candy bars? It comes in candy bars. But there's sugar in candy bars. Mm, not this. If you look at the ratio of dark chocolate to the ratio of sugar, the percentages of dark chocolate is a lot higher than the sugar. The first three ingredients is going to be dark chocolate. If you look at any, whenever you're studying a, uh, what you're purchasing, you got to look at the first top three ingredients. If any of those top three ingredients has sugar on it, it's no good. Get rid of it. So. These candy bars, dark chocolate candy bars, have sugar. They have so are we looking at a percentage of sugar to dark chocolate? Is I would say you were looking at a smaller amount of percentages. If it's not in the top three, I would purchase it. It's in the top if three. If sugar is not in the top three, then it's okay. Then it's okay. Okay, tell me about another food that's good. Another food. Okay, let's look at the broccoli, uh, broccoli seed sprouts. So if I wanted to, if I started consuming that on a daily basis, oh, seed sprouts. How yeah, about seed broccoli sprouts. itself? Broccoli itself is it's the same how it's the same family. What so about frozen broccoli? You know, organic frozen broccoli. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. But if it's not I, I, I hate to say it, if it's not organic, I can't recommend. It. But if for the for the brain for the functions, you get cardio health. Example for that. This Under, is broccoli. This is broccoli. Broccoli again. Healthy cholesterol, okay? The next one is called immune system. That's the number one thing that our society is lacking because they're eating the wrong foods. So our immune system is down. We need to build our immune system. Okay? And broccoli will help me build that my immune help you. system. Yes, ma'am. You cool. Better, oh, yeah. I eat broccoli every day. Excellent. What about spinach? Oh, yeah, spinach is in here, believe it or not. Good call. So in spinach, if I look fine, it, there it is, spinach leaf. It helps with energy, believe it or not. Well, interesting. I know. We're it also helps with the skin. So if you have mousy skin, spinach is the way to go. And last but least, vision. So if you're saying your vision is going bad, I hate to say it, it's not carrots. Spinach is one of the top of superfoods, organic food. What about hair? What that helps with hair? What grows you know, I can only go based on experience. When one lady called me up, she started eating the right foods. What? She's, the right superfoods, organic superfoods. She said her hair started going back. What superfoods? Can you tell me what? Well, I can tell you that the one we have here in this brochure, there's one powder form that has 36 superfoods in it. All right? Tell me three of them. Three of them. Three of them would be, to me, would be, like we've mentioned already, the spinach, the cacao beans, and apricots. Apricots are very important to our diet because if we're looking for digestion we should be having a bowel movement and I hate to say it daily not every other day not every third or fourth day daily if not minimum of two we can ideally so if you're having indigestion problems it's because you're not eating the right superfoods and you're not, your intake so is apricots off. will help with uh, the digestion and the colon and stuff apricots? that's correct yes ma'am okay you know I'm gonna post next to this video the little chart you gave me and people can stop it on the video and read the whole thing yes